Hey Logo Designers, today I'd like to show you four different ways that you can use Logo Package Express to make logos. Open up a final logo file and make a selection of the logo artwork. Click Set Logo in the Logo Package Express extension. From here you're taken to the Logo Builder screen, and this is the screen we're going to be focusing on in today's tutorial. The Logo Builder screen contains four different component windows. There is the original logo that you selected and then three additional components that your logo may contain. These components are logo mark, which is usually the symbol or icon, logo type, which is the name of the company or organization typically, and then lastly, a tagline component window. The first example I'm going to show you contains all three of these components. So I'm quickly going to set them, the logo mark, the logo type, and the tagline. And now if any one of these pieces was a light color and you had trouble seeing it on the white background, you can click the icon in the upper left to switch this to a black background to get more contrast and see your component. Additionally, if you selected a component incorrectly or don't really need the component, you can hit the trash icon in the upper right corner. I'm going to keep the tagline selected. So now if I make logos, you'll see that all of these components get generated in isolation and recombined with other components. We have the full logo, which contains all three components, the logo type with tagline, which is just those two components, the tagline by itself, the logo mark combined with the logo type, the logo type by itself, and the logo mark by itself. This is the most complex type of logo that you're going to generate. And in this case, all of these different uses have different applications in this particular brand. But sometimes your logos aren't going to be as complicated. Let's look at a simpler logo. In our second example, we have a logo which just has a mark and a logo type. So I will set the mark and I will set the logo type. And as you can see, you don't need to have all of the different component windows filled in to generate logos. In this case, we have the full logo combined, the logo type by itself, and the logo mark by itself. But let's say that this client never intended to have the logo type by itself. Well, that's no problem. We can just delete the logo type from the component window. And now when we make web logos, you'll see that we generate the entire logo as well as the logo mark on its own, which matches what we have set in the logo builder screen. The final example we're going to look at is even simpler. Here we have a logo that is just one component. We don't have a logo type, we don't have a logo mark, so in this case, we don't need to even set any of the component windows. We can just go directly into making logos. And as you can see, Logo Package Express has followed what we have set in the Logo Builder screen. So these are the four different ways that you can generate logos using the Logo Builder screen in Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.